So if you listen to the, the alt-right in Canada, and really, really other places too, but I'm going to focus here on Canada. If you listen to the alt-right in Canada, you'll hear one thing above all. That what's causing their rise, what's causing their newfound popularity amongst, you know, the population, what's seeing the rise of the People's Party, which, whether it succeeds or not, does seem to have some enthusiasm behind it. What's causing that is, above all, the rejection of identity politics. The rejection of the left, and when they say the left, they include basically everyone left of them in some ways. Um, you know, many of us don't see the Liberal Party as left, but they certainly do. Um, they say, you know, the liberals and, and socialists are using identity politics um, to, to divide us, to uh, make white men, straight white men, feel guilty about their existence. And this is the backlash that's happening. People are backlashing against the political correctness. And they, they want a, a political party. They want a movement that wants to unify the population. But that's bullshit. That's, that's, that's absolute bullshit. And, and because there is nobody right now playing into identity politics more in this country than the alt-right. Than people in Bernier's camp. I mean, let's just think of like Bernier right here. Bernier has talked about how we need to have immigration policies that you know, tie into and respect Canada's kind of Western civilization traditions, our values. That's code for white supremacy. And even regardless of that, if you truly do believe that we need to end identity politics, then this idea that certain civilizations are better than others, or that certain religions are better than others, or that certain beliefs are better than others, that's identity politics. It is, 100%. This idea that Western civilization is the best civilization, whatever that term means, the idea that it's the best is identity politics. 100%. 100%. So all of this hand-wringing that, you know, the left is, you know, wants women to have pay equity and wants people of color to not get shot in the goddamn street. That's identity politics. But we have, you know... The, the conservative movements, the alt-right movements, talking about how certain people just aren't suitable for this country, or certain beliefs just aren't suitable for this country. And we're hearing the real kind of uh, meaning of identity politics on the right. Look at Lindsay Shepard. You remember her? She was the person that, you know, took some heat at, uh, you know, uh, the TA that took some heat because she, you know, showed a video of Jordan Peterson in class. And whatever you think of that, you know, the blowout, whether that was proportionate or not, the reality is that she's become a poster girl for the alt-right in Canada. And she's often said, well, you know, actually, I'm on the left. But her whole shtick now, and she started a new website where she's talking about identity grifting. How people on the left will use identity to, to try to uh, create profit or to create advancement or to create some kind of, you know, uh, social power for themselves. And it's not genuine and that she's going to find the truth and point out these people who are identity grifting. But this is a this is a this is a woman, this is a young woman who just weeks ago in December of 2018, you know, posted this post on Twitter and I'll throw it up. This post on Twitter where she just happens to casually notice the the lack of white babies in Mississauga and she shares it in a combination with um this this uh, article that says, you know, the most common name in Mississauga is Muhammad, right? Like this is that, the, 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 the subtext, it's not even really subtext, but the, the subtext is that, you know, there's this non-white, specifically non-Anglo, non-Christian name that's become this popular um, name in, in Mississauga, and this is, you know, implicitly bad. If it's not even bad, the fact that she's pointing it out, the fact that she's noticing it, is part of, she's playing the card of identity politics, 100%. And she's not directly connecting it in this case to, like, Lauren Southern's, like, thesis of white replacement or white genocide, where the process of, of immigration um, and refugee, um, you know, and, and migrant movements 
um, are being undertaken as part of a long-term conspiracy to destroy white people and to destroy white civilization, to destroy Western civilization. She's not directly making that connection, but she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to in that case because her followers will do it for her. The concentric circles of like her followings and Peterson's followings and Southern's followings and Faith Goldie's followings, these are... These are, are, are links that, that, that don't have to be explicit to be, to be real. So I just, I, again, I, I don't want this to be a long video, but at the end of the day, I just really want to underline that the right, the alt-rights claim that the reason that they're finding success and that the reason why they're the, on the right side of history is because they're standing against regressive identity politics is 100% bullshit. They are the peddlers of hate, they are the peddlers of division, they are the peddlers of white supremacy, they are the peddlers of, of a vision of, 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 of racial and religious and intellectual hierarchies, and they are the ones trying to tap into the anxieties of race and religion and ethnicity and culture and language in this country. It's them. They are the identity politics peddlers. They are the identity grifters. And it's time we goddamn stop them and stop letting them get away with this bullshit.